Welcome to the Mujawara Review YouTube channel, buddy. In today's video, we dive into one of the most exciting revelations from the ongoing Egghead Island arc. If you thought you knew the power dynamics of the One Piece universe, think again. The five elders, long shrouded in mystery, have stepped into the spotlight as formidable antagonists, proving to be some of the strongest characters we've ever seen. With their seemingly immortal status and unparalleled strength, they have completely upended fan expectations. Join us as we explore the might and mysteries of the Five Elders, their role in the current arc, and what their introduction means for the future of our beloved series. The Five Elders are some of One Piece's most powerful characters, and the current Egghead Island story has brought them to the spotlight. Contrary to expectations, the summoning of the Five Elders to this island and their role as key adversaries surprised fans. Despite initial doubts about their strength, the series has now established them as among its strongest characters. They are often considered the strongest due to their apparent immortality. They heal from every damage they receive, and defeating them now seems impossible. However, in future chapters, Oda may provide a key to genuinely hurting them. The Elders' Strength The Elders possess the highest level powers. Fans understand that the Five Elders are extremely powerful individuals. Fans initially assumed they were mere political figures with no real influence. However, since Emu's introduction, many fans have consistently expected the Five Elders to wield immense power. Protecting the world's greatest power required toughness, and when the Egghead Island arc finally introduced them to the fans, they grasped their seriousness. Fans knew Saturn's abilities were on a whole other level the moment he arrived at Egghead. Saturn's abilities were easily comparable to those of the Yonko. Saturn was able to combat Luffy, which proves this. Luffy even ran out of Gear 5, yet Saturn remained as fresh as when he first stepped foot on Egghead. When the remaining Elders arrived, fans got to receive a preview of their abilities. Each of them wowed in their own unique way, with Ju Peter impressing the least. Regardless, each Elder is unique in their own way, with some being so tough, such as Warkiri, that even Luffy in Gear 5 appears to be unable to injure him. The Five Elders evidently have a very high level of strength, it would be foolish to think that they are not as powerful as the Emperors of the Sea in fact, given their immortality, they may be much stronger. The Immortality of the Elders The biggest power of the Elders is their immortality. The Five Elders' most powerful ability is undoubtedly their immortality. These are enormously powerful characters in the One Piece universe who appear to be immortal. Characters like Bonnie attempted to stop Saturn in the Egghead Island arc, but his injuries healed. Later, Kuma appeared and hit Saturn so hard that his face broke. When this happened, Saturn regenerated as if it were nothing. The fight with Luffy resulted in the same outcome. Luffy dealt significant damage to Saturn, yet he recovered every time. Even Kazaru was unable to withstand the damage that Luffy was sending out, but to Saturn, it seemed as if Luffy was doing nothing. When the remaining elders arrived, several of them sustained even greater harm than Saturn. For example, Jupiter was cut up into several parts, but he was still as good as when he originally landed on Egghead. Saturn's attack, reflected back to the three elders, utterly destroyed them, yet it ultimately achieved nothing, as they continued to regenerate. At this time, Luffy concluded that the five elders were just immortal and couldn't die. This is also one of the reasons they have most likely survived so long, and it poses a significant challenge to whoever will combat them in the story's future. These five elders are extremely deadly, and not everyone can defeat them. However, that does not mean they are unbeatable. Fans are well aware that the five elders are susceptible to injury. They do have scars on their bodies, indicating that someone has caused permanent damage to them. The secret to this damage could be right in front of the fans' eyes. The secret to damaging the elders, the ancient energy could injure the elders permanently. A lot of fans believe that Conqueror's Hockey holds the key to causing harm to the elders. Although Conqueror's Hockey is a powerful skill that allows one to deliver massive harm to anyone, if it were that simple, Luffy would have used it by now to deal with the elders. And possibly even defeat one of them. However, this is certainly not the case. This is because the key to defeating the elders is in something else entirely. Saturn was unable to endure the glow of the Mother Flame in One Piece's most recent chapters, which is strange. This may seem like a little detail, but Oda knew why he included it. 
Saturn was truly unable to maintain his yokai form in the presence of Mother Flame. As a result, the Five Elders' weakness might be the Mother Flame, or, more specifically, the ancient energy source. However, this does not mean that we must use the ancient weapons against the Five Elders. In reality, there exists another individual on Egghead who draws power from ancient energy. This person is none other than the Iron Giant. The Iron Giant will face off against the Five Elders, as established in One Piece Chapter 1116. This is because the Iron Giant is guarding the Transponder Snail, which the Elders intend to destroy. To get to the Transponder Snail, they must first pass through the Iron Giant. However, Vegapunk revealed at the start of the arc that ancient energy fuels the Iron Giant. This implies that each blow delivered by the Iron Giant has the potential to cause irreparable damage to the Elders. Oda's use of the Iron Giant could unveil their limitations, elucidate the necessity of the ancient weapons, and explain why Joy Boy inherited them. This could suggest that in One Piece's future, Luffy's drums of liberation awaken the ancient giant in the first place, demonstrating Luffy's ability to generate ancient energy. There may not be enough ancient energy to defeat the Five Elders in the future, but fans will at least know how to do it, which is a significant step forward. Summary and Highlights One Piece's Egghead Island arc introduces the Five Elders as significant villains, showcasing their immense power and immortality. Saturn and the other Elders have powers comparable to those of the Yonko, making them dangerous opponents who even Luffy struggles to beat. The answer to harming the immortal Elders may lie in ancient energy sources such as the Mother Flame or the Iron Giant, which hint at their vulnerabilities. And there you have it, One Piece enthusiasts. The Five Elders have truly shaken the foundations of the One Piece world, revealing strength and immortality that put them on par with the mightiest characters we know. As the Egghead Island arc continues to unfold, we eagerly await more clues about their weaknesses, especially concerning the ancient energy sources that might hold the key to their downfall. Stay tuned for more updates and theories as we continue to unravel the secrets of the One Piece universe. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more deep dives and discussions. Until next time, keep sailing towards adventure. Thank you very much for visiting the Mutual War Review YouTube channel, buddy. We hope you enjoy our review analysis. Don't forget to subscribe to continue joining us on our joyful journey in the world of anime. If you have any wishes, questions, or suggestions for our next videos, feel free to express your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for your support, and until we meet again. See you next time, buddy. What is One Piece anime? One Piece is a manga and anime story about a young boy named Monkey D. Luffy who wants to be the king of the pirates in the world. As a child, he eats a devil fruit, a strange plant that makes him able to stretch like rubber. Before the show starts, Luffy goes out into the world for the first time and starts to gather a group of pirates. The main group grows over time, but it starts with Luffy, Nami the Navigator, and a swordsman named Roronoa Zoro. At some point, Luffy and his friends are known as the Straw Hat Pirates, and they go on many exciting adventures across the ocean. One Piece is a lot of fun because it's silly. Luffy goes from island to island around the world in the series. Each island has its own setting and theme. It's a pretty fantastical world full of animals that look like people, live skeletons, and other delightfully strange things. Within moments the group is in a winter scene, and the next they are on a tropical island full of giants. The show is full of silly and bright details. For example, Zoro holds a sword in his mouth, a scary military boss wears a cute bulldog hat. And people don't use phones to talk to each other instead, they use special transponder snails that can send and receive messages. Luffy is a carefree person who just wants to eat a tasty meal and laugh at bad jokes. Even though there are some funny parts in the series, a lot of One Piece is about freedom. During his travels, Luffy often takes up guns to help his friends and encourages others to do the same against pirates and government-backed military occupations. The characters in Luffy and his crew get stronger with each fight, which is typical for shonen manga. A lot of the story is about how Luffy beats a problem that seemed impossible to solve and finds some kind of secret power. After each fight, Luffy and his team get stronger and move closer to his main goal, which is to find the One Piece. Why is it called One Piece? 
the first part of both the manga and the anime shows that Pirate King Gold D. Roger is telling the truth about the mythical wealth called the One Piece. One Piece is the name of the show because Luffy wants to find the One Piece and become the next Pirate King. One of Luffy's main goals in the show is mentioned in the show's title. What is the One Piece? The answer to this question is still one of the biggest secrets in the series. It's been more than 1,000 episodes, and we still don't know what One Piece is. We know that the One Piece is the name of the treasure that Gold D. Roger collected on his travels because of details in the manga. We still don't know a lot about the treasure, though. There are a lot of ideas from fans about what the One Piece is, but we still don't know what it is or even if it's real. The One Piece could just be the friends Luffy makes along the way.